Hey everyone, it's Dr. Romani. Welcome to this YouTube channel on narcissism and narcissistic relationships. So here's a question for you and it's one that comes up. Isn't gray rocking just stonewalling? Let's take that on because there's a lot of confusion about this. Ah, gray rocking, gray rocking, gray rocking, right? Gray rocking is a tricky technique. It works, it doesn't always work. I'm not even always a fan. I actually though really like gray rocking in writing less so in sort of in person or when we're talking to someone, but I like it in writing. I'm going to talk more about that in a moment. Let's just have a basic review of gray rocking though. Gray rocking is a disengagement and management technique for narcissistic people. It's a way to keep interacting with them without getting drawn into their baiting and their word salad and their gaslighted frenzy. Gray rocking has traditionally been something that's suggested to folks who are in inescapable narcissistic relationships, such as co-parenting of minor children, workplace relationships and for jobs they can't get out of, and some family relationships. It's gray rocking is exactly what it sounds like. You make yourself as disengaged, as forgettable, and as dull as a gray rock. It entails brief answers and little emotion. Things like yes, no, sure, okay, mm-hmm, things like that. It can work during a short interaction with a narcissistic person that you don't need to see very often. Perhaps with someone in the workplace who's narcissistic or is antagonistic that you don't have to constantly engage with, right? But you do it from time to time. But in the day to day, gray rocking may cause more harm than good for you. So let's take on the premise of this video because this is something, this, this assertion that it's just stonewalling is something that I have seen happen to clients and other survivors of narcissistic relationships who have had to manage narcissistic people and they use gray rocking. So they gray rock, right? And they get accused of stonewalling. Let's talk a little bit about stonewalling. Stonewalling is stopping communication and it includes territories such as the silent treatment. Gray rocking is not the silent treatment, right? You are responding meaningfully. You're just giving very brief and unemotional answers. But when you do a deeper dive into stonewalling, it gets tricky because there are some assumptions. Stonewalling by definition is supposed to reflect discomfort about discussing feelings or emotions, being dismissive, refusing to answer or respond, not making eye contact or doing nonverbal things like nodding or even doing things like storming out of a conversation when the person doesn't like it. Frankly, that sounds like what narcissistic people do. It doesn't sound like gray rocking. But gray rockers are often accused of stonewalling because remember, once you start gray rocking a narcissistic person, you are no longer really giving them supply. You are not getting into the confusing circular arguments where they can dominate and overpower. You are not falling for the baiting where they can put you in a subordinate position and leave you confused. Basically, you are no longer playing their toxic ground game. You aren't, you, you aren't not answering or responding, right? If they ask you, are you going to pick up the kids today? I'm going to be working late and then I have a dinner with some friends and I've had to reschedule this dinner like five times because you never help enough with picking up the kids from school. Let's assume in this example, this is untrue that you do pick up the kids, right? In the past, in response to that, you may have said, are you kidding me? I pick up the kids just about every day. Yes, a few weeks ago, I had to deal with a work emergency for a couple of days. And yes, I leaned on you, but every day, that's not true. I pick up the kids almost every day, except for those three days. And then once you do that, you go down the rabbit hole of who picks up the kids and who does this and who does what and blah, blah, blah. And then you start talking about stuff from 10 years ago. If you were to gray rock in this situation, gray rocking would be to re be responding to this whole, you don't pick up, you never pick up the kids and I need to stay out to dinner. When they ask you that question, are you picking up the kids today and I am busy and you don't do enough? When they ask you, 
are you picking up the kids and all that other nonsense they said, the gray rock response would be yes. That's it. Lean, clean, and mean because that's all that's needed is yes. You're going to pick up the kids. The usual rules of communication do not apply in narcissistic relationships because they are not listening. They regularly use manipulation to compel you to do something. In this example, by implying that you do not usually do enough for the children or around the house and that they are the victim. There is no point in getting into a discussion about how inaccurate that is. The core of the question is, are you picking up the kids? The answer to that is yes. Done. When you couple gray rock with radical acceptance, it actually brings up a lot of grief for people who feel like there's no there there in this relationship. The fact is there never really was. Whatever there 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 ever was might have been the excitement and the attentiveness of love bombing, which we now know ultimately was a performative fiction. And the rest of the relationship was built on a flimsy structure of justifications and rationalizations. Gray rocking, gray rocking strips things down to the functional truth of the relationship. But you don't just shut down. It's not the stonewalling BS of the silent treatment. You answer what needs to be answered and you don't engage further because there really is no point. Now, I've spoken here on this YouTube channel about Tina Swithin's model of yellow rocking. It's gray rock with a little more glitter. There's more warmth in the voice, maybe not just the facts of a flat yes or no, but more of a, no problem, I got the kids today. You also don't get to be passive aggressive in your voice in yellow rock. Tina suggested this because gray rock can present as a bit hostile in narcissistic divorces and look bad in settings like mediation or in front of kids. But gray rock by itself actually works pretty well with toxic family that you see infrequently, with people who ask intrusive questions about your life. And it works in the workplace where warmth is not necessarily a job requirement and it can be used to answer questions from hostile and manipulative coworkers without getting into it with them. But where gray rock can be most useful is in writing. Unnecessarily long and wordy texts are a hallmark of narcissistic relationships. Again, if you do give brief yes, no, or heaven forbid a thumbs up on a text, they will again accuse you of stonewalling. Now that you know what stonewalling is, you now know that is not what you are doing. But keeping texts brief allows you to leave a paper trail because it shows that you did indeed respond to their text and you did indeed give an answer to their question. And especially if it is in a situation where other people may analyze your communication or even the narcissistic person is trying to gaslight you about you never responding to them, giving brief responses may piss them off if they're looking for a fight, but it shows documentation that you did indeed respond and give an answer, but didn't get into a baited, gaslighted tete-a-tete -tete with them. But there is a big difference between gray walling. Ugh. But there is a big difference between gray rocking and stonewalling, though I know that more than a few therapists would not agree with me. But teaching people to communicate with someone who is not listening, who invalidates, who gaslights, and will twist the facts and bait someone, it feels sadistic to me to teach someone to communicate with them. Not everyone can cut every narcissistic person out of their lives. And while the narcissistic folks are master stonewallers, gray rocking isn't stonewalling. The narcissistic person telling you that you are stonewalling when you are gray rocking is not only inaccurate, it is one more way that you are once again doubting yourself, wondering if you are the problem, wondering if you are the one who is hostile, doing this terrible stonewalling thing. And then 
That self-doubt and self-blame may lead you to start engaging in the toxic communication cycles again. Take your gray rock, sprinkle a little yellow rock in there if it works for you. Recognize that these trimmed down styles of communication are not stonewalling and also that gray rocking may bring up lots of grief as it reminds you that the relationship was never that healthy and never will be. And you need time to work through that grief. Disengagement is typically the only path forward with a person where, inevitab where inevitably an interaction will get unhealthy. Try and avoid that one path to safety that people are trying to take away when your only self-protection in these relationships is being viewed as a hostile tactic, it can get really tricky. So remember, gray rocking is not stonewalling. Just because you won't get into a toxic back and forth with someone doesn't mean you're stonewalling, doesn't mean you're withholding. They can ask you in some manipulative roundabout way, are you going to pick up the kids? Are you gonna do that? You can answer with a yes or a no. You don't have to acknowledge all the other nonsensical accusations. Engaging in acknowledging accusations about things that are not true is a waste of your time. Try to find the nugget of the question in there, answer it cleanly, and that's gray rocking at its best. And where gray rocking has its greatest power is in things like texting and emailing, yeses and nos and all of that. And while someone else will say, well, what about some niceties? You don't need niceties when you text and it'll always give you, again, that clear paper trail that you did respond. And for more about gray rocking and any of the rest of it, please do order my new book. The link is there in the video description. It's coming out soon. So if you order it now, you'll be one of the first ones to get it. Thanks again.